standing by to come out of the hold. The countdown clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, mark. T minus nine minutes and counting. TLS auto sequence has been initiated. The ground launch sequencer has been initiated. NASA test director Jeff Spaulding is about to call for the transmittal of stored pre-launch commands as Endeavour is less than nine minutes away from launch on a mission back to the International Space Station. T-minus, eight minutes and counting. Copy that. Pilot Bloomfield is flipping, flipping switches in the cockpit to directly connect the three fuel cells to the essential power buses. And we are in the process of retracting the orbiter access arm away from the vehicle. This is the walkway used by the crew to gain entry into and out of the vehicle. It can be returned to position within seconds if necessary. CDR, O2C. Go ahead, O2C. That the last shuttle crew may have had the mojo, but you guys are packing the power to light Space Station Alpha into the new millennium. T-minus six minutes and counting. Pilot Michael Bloomfield reports that the pre-start of the auxiliary power units is complete. APU activation will come up in just a few seconds. T minus five minutes and counting. And we have a go for APU start. APU start. And work. CDR, we can figure it out. SRB and external tank safe and arm devices have been armed. APU start complete, three good APUs. Copy that. Main 
Fuel valve heaters on the three shuttle main engines have been turned on in preparation for launch tonight. This mission carries a crew of five who will spend the next 11 days in orbit. They will dock with the International Space Station, perform three EVAs, and open the station hatch to be greeted by the three current inhabitants. The final test of the flight control services will be conducted now. And final aerial surface checks of so the orbiter's wing, elevons, and rudder are being completed. Now this verifies the orbiter's hydraulic systems. Next, the three main engines will be gimbaled as a final test prior to launch. Everything continues to look good. We're at T minus three minutes and counting. All is going well for launch this evening of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on mission STS-97. Tonight's launch is expected to be visible to most of the southeastern coastal regions of the United States. And we are completing the purge of the shuttle main engines at this time. TLT, OTC. Clear caution and warning. Memory, verify no unexpected error. Copy, no unexpected error. Good work. The gaseous oxygen vent hood is being slowly retracted away from the top of the external tank. This PLP, that's complete. Copy that. This tank holds the 500,000 gallons of super cold liquid fuels that run the orbiter's three main engines. Endeavor OTC, close the launch advisors and initiate O2 flow. Less than two minutes to launch. T minus one minute, 45 seconds. All systems are go. Endeavor is about 100 seconds away from launch. One minute, 30 seconds. The hydrogen tank inside the external tank is reported to be at the proper flight pressures. T minus one minute and counting. One minute. Everything is still looking good for launch of Shuttle Endeavour from the Kennedy Space Center here in Florida. And we are transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Endeavour is running off its three onboard fuel cells. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Endeavour's onboard computers have primary control of the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. 15. T minus 15 seconds. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. We have a go for the engine start. Five, three, two. Booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour, providing power to the station as we continue to build our future in space. Well program. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavour. Endeavour completing the roll. The shuttle now in a heads down wings level position for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Twenty-five seconds into the flight, Endeavour's three liquid fuel main engines beginning to throttle back in a three-step fashion to 72% of rated performance. That will reduce the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier.
Endeavour already one and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. All systems reported to be in great shape. 52 seconds into the flight, the main engine's beginning to rev up to full throttle, 104% of rated performance. Endeavour, go at throttle up. The throttle up call from spacecraft communicator Gus Loria. On board Endeavour, Commander Brent Jett, joined on the flight deck by pilot Mike Bloomfield, flight engineer Mark Garneau of the Canadian Space Agency, and mission specialist Joe Tanner. Seated alone down on the mid deck, mission specialist Carlos Noriega. One minute, 36 seconds into the flight. Endeavour 18 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange, three good fuel cells, three good auxiliary power units. This view from long-range tracking cameras north of the launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation coming up in about eight seconds. Booster officer here in Mission Control reports a good solid rocket booster separation. Endeavour 32 miles in altitude, 40 miles downrange, putting on a light show for the eastern seaboard as it heads up the eastern seaboard. Guidance has converged, all three computers.